What's going on everyone? It's me, ya boy, Alex the Rambler. And today, we're back on Hearts of Iron 4. Whoa, what was going on there? I apologise, it might be the jet lag. I'm back in the UK for the next month now. And if you're wondering why there isn't a, a webcam, uh, well, at the moment, uh, I'm just sitting in an attic in a robe. And I didn't really fancy putting this on camera. However, you're seeing it now. So, enjoy... But that's right, we're back, and today I'm playing a sub-mod for Führer Reich, which in itself is almost like a weird alternative mod for Kaiser Reich. It's, it's a mod that's set where, where, where in, in, in Kaiser Reich, Germany won World War I, but then in this one, it's like an alternate scenario where in Kaiser Reich's world, they lost World War I, and this is a scenario about that, but it's also a sub-mod which, which changes stuff within this mod. Oh my god. But of course, for more hoy, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. 5,000 likes for more hoy. There we are. Uh, hopefully this won't get demonetized, unlike my previous one. And I can just move past this. And hopefully, just, 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 just keep on earning ad revenue. Alright? Good. So, this sub-mod adds three major ways to play as Germany. You can play as National Populist Göring, Von Schecks Junta, or a Libertarian Socialist Germany. Ugh. It's called Führerreich uh, Walkery. So, take that how you will. So, of course, as this is the german theme mod, we'll have to play as, as the Deutsches Reicher. I honestly don't know what's going on with my voice. I do think it's the jet lag. Uh, so, this is what happens when Germany loses World War I when in a mod they should have won World War One. I. Uh, I think you've probably all seen Führer Reich before, so I don't really need to go over it too much. Uh, except it's you know the world is a mess. Quite frankly, it, it, it's 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 a mess. Not really much to do to begin with. I can't actually select a national focus with which to you know change my country around. I believe we have to wait for a night to change the world. Oh my, oh my indeed. Uh, we don't need to worry about that. That's the British Empire's problem. So, we are head of the Stahl Pact, which just includes the Netherlands. I think that's it. Yep. That's all we've got. The Netherlands. <gasps> oh my gosh. It was a cold morning in Berlin. At least colder than usual, but that didn't stop the people from going to work to gain their livelihood. Or from plotting. Okay. So, this essentially just um, has a plot against Germany's current leader, Adam Dressler. If you want to read it, I I I'll try and leave a link to the mod. But I don't think you want me reading long, long monologues of text. You can just have me say long, long monologues of pointless things in the video instead. Haha, <laughs> right. A night to change the world. Bim bam boom. Oh my gosh, gunshots in Berlin. Last night, a group of soldiers from the seemingly loyal Berlin Guard has, have, have what it seems successful, su successfully stormed into Dressler's apartments after engaging and killing the TST Stroop station to protect him. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh no. We're now led by the Grand Council of Volkists. What a surprise. Germany in flames. Uh-oh. With Dressler's death, Germany finds itself without a leader. North Central Authority rights are erupting. Get the army in. Get the Wehrmacht. Get in the Wehrmacht. The army storms Berlin. And apparently in this mod, um, Hilter is the economy minister. Alright. Okay, all around the country, the Wehrmacht mobilised and stormed both Berlin and other major population centres, crushing any dissent. And should that be installing martial law? We can either get Von Schecht or Emma. Actually, you know what? Let's see what Germing, Ger Germing, Goering can do. I'm sure it can't be too terrible, right? It probably will be. Goering's probably going to ruin the nation, I think. I am before anything a patriot. I did not fight a world conflict for Germany just to let it sink into the depths of hell at the hand of the Volkists. Right, right, right. My honour to you is loyalty. Mm -hmm. Okay, Goering, whatever you say. Oh dear, he's purging. Well, looks like he could probably do with losing a couple of pounds though, eh? <laughs> oh. Oh, no pop-up after we purge the state, so I guess we'll create the... This one. I imagine that's the secret police, right? Methinks it will be. So already, uh, Goering is gearing up for war. As you can see, I'm clicking on producing civilian factories, which will help me produce military factories when I when I actually want to. I'm a very smart, smart YouTuber. The fact that I have to say that probably means that I'm not. But who knows? Let's, let's, let's carry on. Propaganda. Yep. 
the free corpse can now roam around, and all I get is extra stability. Oh, my, <laughs> it's like I'm introducing martial law. Ah, it's a shame that these focuses don't actually have any kind of text. It just seems like they've forgotten about it, or maybe they just released the mod when they didn't finish it, which is a shame. Uh, but I know I'm going to drive around on a train. Oh, in a daring bet, Reich's president Goering went train touring into all the major urban centres of Germany to meet the locals. Oh, oh, there he goes. Charisma and strength. That's that's what Goering. <laughs> okay, sure, sure. Right. Well, that's all of his initial tree done now we have the new order uh which I, i'm clearly going to uh go ahead and and do because i i do like that yes i do like that indeed but where can i expand hmm where can i expand into ah yes germany's plan in europe you say oh oh yes our weak neighbors oh oh let's go Alone in the dark, I think. Yep. yep, 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 yep. Before I can probably expand, I should probably do the new order and and start actually getting some decent buffs, methinks. Yes. I, I, and I'm also probably going to try and. Well, Goering was in charge of the air force, right? So I should probably get more aircraft than than what I currently have. But I don't have any military factories, and I have a cunning plan, as you can see from my lack of light tanks at the moment. Uh, there appears to be lots of civil war going on around the country, around the world, I should say, around the world, and, and a four-way civil war in Brazil still is not enough to make South America interesting, okay? Uh, and then we have Huey Long in charge of the US. So everything seems to be going fairly well with the... What? Oh, I just got it! Huh, I got free, I got, oh, they got the Sudetenland for free! I don't think they've changed that event to match this sub-mod. Um, I don't think the checks are vile, by the way. That was the text in the in the game. That wasn't. God damn it! Civilian investment, and then we do military investment. Ooh, I love I love focuses that give me factories for free. It's so good. It's just like it's just it's like a magic show. Wa bam, and your industry's better. You've spelled expansion wrong in the navy. Therefore, I'm gonna go and and and, and do and do some of this stuff instead. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want to bring Austria into the fold. France may intervene, but I think I could hold them. Maybe. Oh. Our coup was defeated. Um, we will not fold. And uh, that was very easy. They're now my puppet. Nice. <laughs> nice. End the checks. All right. Boom. What are you going to do, France? Ha-ha! da 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 It's me! Ya yeah, boy! Goering! Uh, so my, my light tanks are pretty quick at the moment. Uh, what I currently have is a uh, Eric von Manstein to increase my, my, my motorized speed. And then I also have a light tank manufacturer which increases my soft attack, defense, and hardness. So... I'm going ham. I'm going ham. Oh, let's increase the that once again. Nice, nice light tank. Light. We got <laughs> a light tank strap. You've never seen anything like it. Well, you probably have. I think Bacoan uses it all the time. I have no idea, but that that, that was pretty easy. That was that was a quick gobble gobble. Uh, well, somewhat embarrassingly, Denmark's actually putting up some opposition. I don't know how they're doing that. But I will encircle them. And, oh, I have! Nice. Oh my god, yeah. The, 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 tank, the tanks be blitzing. Whee! This is all going rather smoothly so far. No one's tried to stop me to do, do anything. It's, it's quite odd. It's quite odd. Oh, Let's enforce Bresk Lithos Vizlosk. Alright. Invade Poland. Uh, <laughs> who, who, who would have thunk this would happen, eh? Who would have thunked it? And again, no one is stopping Goering from just going on an absolute tour of Europe. I, I'm i kind of baffled that no one is stopping this. No one wants to stop this? No one? In we go, I guess. Oh my god, that's a lot of green, isn't it? Bloody Nora. Oh my giddly goo. My light tanks appear to be working. 
this light tank strat is is it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Right, well, Poland actually had a surprisingly strong army. Oh, but they're out of manpower. Okay, well, this will just be an easy one now, I think. Okay, yep, yeah, <laughs> my light tanks are, are very quick. Um, I will guarantee Scandinavia. There we go. That might stop them from attacking me, maybe. I will establish dominion over Denmark, I think. Yes, there we are. Nice, that'll work. That'll work, won't it, Frederick? All right, the watch on the Rhine. Here we go. I don't have any uh, population at the moment, but I'm sure this is fine. Who needs manpower? Oh. Oh, never mind. That's disappointing. Oh, yeah. Uh, Rhineland or war? What's, what's your option? What's your, what's your answer, France? Ultimatum. Here we go. I'm presuming they, uh, they didn't accept. Oh, into the ring once more. Germany. I mean, France. I'm coming for you. Just, I need manpower first. The Schliffen plan. We're going to go and do the Schliffen. We're doing a Schliffen. We're, we're going to go around them. I'm using my brain and my tanks. That's like the perfect combo. Oh, he's going to be... I'm sorry, Bernard. I'm really sorry. But uh, my light tanks are coming for you. Let's see how easily we push through. Very... Holy moly. Who needs mediums, eh? Crumbs. I wonder if Belgium will fare any better. I doubt it. Um, no one's joining the... Okay. I don't need you. I've got my own thing going on. Screw you, Ukraine. Right, so if I declare war on France, but I don't call my allies in... Ah, good. That That's very good. Then they can't attack my territory here because I'm not bringing them into the war. Oh, you are a, you are a military genius, Alex. A military genius. Oh, the UK loves to get in again. Oh, yeah, come on in, mate. Come on in. Uh, uh, give me manpower, please. An ally in the east. The Ottoman Empire wants to join. Sure. Uh, what? What? Oh, Turkey. Turkey wants to join. Sure, I'll let them join. Anyone is welcome in the Reichspakt. <gasps> oh, they rose up. Oh, you love to see that. You love to see it when they uprise. Thank you. That was very generous of you. Oh, this is tasty. This is a tasty encirclement here. Starve them all. So, I am just getting naval invaded everywhere. <laughs> uh, even though I have... Division set up just to protect my ports. So I, 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 the amount of naval invasions I'm enduring is too damn high. Okay, it's it's disgusting. I'm bringing Austria in. Take it to Italy. Take it to them, because Italy are just naval invaded the heck out of me, and it's just it's just more annoying than actually threatening me. Admittedly, I shouldn't have lost Hamburg. Uh, but now my tanks will will swoop on in and really help capitulate them. Oh no, why are they declaring war on me? Really? Oh, so... But they had volunteers helping me. How does it serve them to... Oh, that's rich. That's really rich. Oh, the Entente Cordiale. Screw you and your Entente. The only thing I'm lacking is fuel. If I can get fuel, then I can win. <laughs> uh, I'm just lacking any kind of fuel at the moment, though. But let's get let's get light tank threes. That will save the day. Maybe doing this light tank strategy wasn't as intelligent as I thought it was going to be. So I think in order to have any hope of winning, I need to do a surprise strike against the French here. Uh, but as you can see, they they do have some forts which are going to hamper my my targets. Uh, so, if I can take out their forts, I think I can probably fight my way through. I hope. But I'm gonna... I'm, it's gonna be like a... Uh, a an all-out attack. I don't know if this is gonna go as well as it should. I'm gonna throw everything I have into trying to take it. Right, here we go. Calling in... Is it Flanders? Flanders? Flanders. Then we go... Okay. 
Rommel can use his siege artillery. I'm hoping we can push through. And oh my god, what is that is mad. Oh uh -huh. it worked. The silly plan worked. Keep going. Just keep going. Push as far as you Oh, I upgraded all my light tanks to 40 combat width now, by the way. Oh my god, please let me encircle them there. Please let me encircle them there. Oh, I think they are. I think they are insert. Oh my god, okay. Stop the advances, everyone. Let them recover. We're gonna starve them. Oh wow. Oh wow, this is gonna absolutely destroy them. Yes! Go, 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 go! Oh yeah. And uh, now it's gonna be Italy's time to capitulate. Uh, the Brits landed. And and now I will I will I will I will push out. Push them out. Push them out! I've managed to get my tanks into uh, the UK, and I'm hoping that where it's all fields and fil fil fields of wheat and barley, I can just zip on through. At least that's the plan. Yeah, they don't appear to have anything to resist the light tanks. Oh man, Canada's a major. Uh, that's a oh god. I it's it's when this kind of stuff happens. That I just want it to end. <laughs> because it, it's clear that I can't lose now. Uh, if you've taken out all of the major players, I don't see how Italy is even still going at this point. Uh, I, I think other miners like Canada, Australia, should just capitulate. Maybe that's just me, though. Maybe that's just me. I think this is where I will end today. Uh, having defeated France, Italy... And the United Kingdom. I think it's pretty clear that there isn't anyone that could really oppose me now. This Entente Cordiale is just a pain in the in the buttocks. If I defeat Canada, then India will be the major. Defeat India, Australia becomes the major, etc, etc. Uh, so, I think Goering's done surprisingly well. I don't think anyone would have, would have, would have expected this. It's odd. And with light tanks, no less. The power of the light tank. So, but if you've enjoyed today's episode, leave a like, subscribe, and uh, 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 and that's it, really. I'll, I'll say farewell. I, I need to go and have a shower now. I'll, I'll leave that mental thought with you. Toodaloo. Many thanks to Onion Duck, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Parappa the Trapper, Ryan Cock, Cody Freeze, Name Name 1231, Aiden, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, Sean Young, and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous rambler supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too. I did it right that time.